hello so we are back in this time we have kind of like a nice laptop to repair this is a clever laptop and uh, we have an nvidia gpu now this laptop is coming from a computer business and the customer is saying uh, got a customer laptop in i try everything on but it will not post laptop switch on fans power up once it warms up but absolutely nothing on screen keyboard lights up but nothing else nothing on the external monitor either now i did try to explain the customer you know it's i can check like the basics so i can maybe i can even do a bias if i can find a bias for clever probably not but it's not much what i can do this kind of fool 99% it's a dead CPU, dead chipset. The laptop is open, has no screws. But before we are starting, let's speak about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution based on the fact that all kind of PCBs, 3D printing, CNC, she metal are available from them. Every new register, they are getting $5 welcome bonus which is about 10 PCBs. So you will get 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now I did check myself the PCB quality. We can clearly see here we are speaking about uh, a top notch uh, PCB manufacturer. Now don't forget, you can uh, check the link on the description and uh, you can place your first order. Now let's go back to our uh, repair. It is a nice motherboard. I will lie to say it's not. Let me try to power on. We can check some voltages. Yeah, the laptop it is on. Caps lock. Probably we don't have a caps lock light. But anyway, the laptop it is on. Let's do some checks. I mean, yeah. If it's any picture, we can see it. So we have some power supplies. This power supply 5.2, which is good. This one. 3.4 which is right this one 1 1.8 which is fine this one has like 1 volt which is fine this one oh this is the charging coil this one has 1.1 1 .1, which is fine I mean everything is fine I can't feel the CPU warm the chipset wow the chipset is proper hot chipset voltage yeah we have one volt here not sure why we have 1.6 there we have 3.4 here which is right bios chip bios chip is here on the bios chip we have 3.3 3.4 3 which is right RAM memory we checked already, right? Yeah, 1.1. So what you'll do in this case? How you'll approach this kind of repair? Hmm? Is there anything what you can do? Hmm? You have to understand the laptop coming on in a picture means something is broken in the communication, chipset, CPU, GPU. I mean, GPU is not even a problem because the laptop is starting on uh, on the inbuilt uh, graphics. Not sure what CPU is here. If it's Intel, it'll start on Intel graphics. No idea what CPU it is. If you think a schematic it will help you, no. A schematic cannot help you in a case like this. We can change the RAM memory. That's something what we can do. Let me power off. But this is DDR5 or 4? 4, huh? Must be 4. Yeah, RAM memory. I'm using different RAM memory and different socket. Just to be sure it's not like a socket issue. And still nothing. 
because the CPU is getting warm, I'm assuming the, the voltages are right. The GPU is slightly warm. Yeah. Nothing what we can check. Then we have picture. That's freaking sick. <laughs> I mean, how? Ah, that's crazy. I mean, I'm not lying. Um, I'm gonna show you the email I sent to the customer after he he told me the problem. I mean, check here. Hi, sure, feel free to send it any time, but all I can try is a new BIOS. Otherwise, laptop coming on in no picture is usually a dead CPU chipset. And yeah, I mean, I, RAM memory, I'm, 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 I'm not even, you know, specifying RAM memory because I'm assuming, you know, someone tried already a RAM memory. I mean, this, this is the first thing what you try, RAM memory, right? Different RAM memory on different slots. That's the rule. That's crazy, and the laptop is working fine. I restarted the laptop. I mean, this is this is Corsair. This is a good RAM memory. Hmm. We should try to fix it. What do you think? Let me shut down the laptop. Or maybe it's the slot. Can be the slot. Very unlikely, but can be the slot. Let's swap the memory. Yeah, the laptop itself on the other slot. So the RAM memory is on the other slot. Pressing the power button. Oh lord, it's not coming on. No, it's the slot. That's crazy. One second, and with the customer memory, then let me shut down. With the customer memory on the other slot. It's working. Pressing the power button. No. I mean, how can be a dead slot and a dead RAM memory? No, nothing is not working. That's crazy. Wait, we have picture. We have picture. The customer memory, RAM memory is good. Okay, let me try one more time. I'm going to try one more time to move the RAM memory here on this slot. Pressing the power button. Yeah, let's wait more. No, it's not, it's not working, no. No, it's not working on that. Uh, the clearly, it's a RAM slot issue. Okay, let's have a look at the RAM slot and see what we can do there. Let's see. RAM slot is looking fine. Check there. I mean, proper clean, no liquid damage, nothing. We can get a little bit closer. Yeah, the first pin is looking weird, right? This one, yeah, but it's all that on place, it's good. Usually the pins um, at the end are getting broken, this is good. Yeah, this is good. No, nothing. On the back of the socket, I'm not sure if you can see. No, it's good. Good, there's nothing what you can check here. I mean, I can clearly see every pin is sold on place. No. Okay, let's check inside of the of the slot. Inside of the slot, everything is fine. Check that.
Every pin is fine. I mean, yeah, we can try and clean it, but I really doubt it will work. Just a little bit of alcohol. Cleaning the arm slot. Yeah, back with the RAM memory. Pressing the power button. Yeah, it is coming on. Let's wait. And it's working. That's crazy. You know what? Let me see the. Yeah, let's push the memory. Yeah, yeah, check that, check that. Yeah, you can see it's an issue. That's how you check if uh, is something wrong with the socket or with the RAM stick. Let me power off. I'm gonna swap the RAM memory with my memory, just to understand if the RAM, uh, the RAM uh, itself is faulty or the, the socket. And the laptop is coming on. No, I want this. Yeah, yeah. let's push the RAM. It's not a socket. No, check that. I'm pushing the RAM down. You can see it. It's not a socket. It's the RAM memory itself. That's crazy. I mean, all uh, all this time it was a RAM issue. Yeah, all working fine. So if you have this problem, just always remember, change the slot and the RAM. I mean, this one is uh, 4 gig one. Well, let's use a 8 gig for the customer. You know what, I can't even see. Yeah, it is 8 gig. So, uh, I'm gonna stick back 8 gig for the customer. Hopefully it is working fine. Yeah, so it's working fine. Okay, what can I say? Uh, just a short video. How to check, how to figure it out, what is the problem. But one more time, always different RAM on different slot. And that's important. See you on the next one. Bye.